minutes, please welcome Robin Schrader, President of the National Cooperative Grocers Association. Okay, thanks very much. Um, uh, to the next slide, please. Uh, my organization go from Chuck talking about things from a global perspective um, down to a very sector-specific uh, um, association here in the United States. Next slide, please. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, the National Cooperative Grocers Association was formed out of several regional associations that had grown up over a period of time. The first was in 1992 in the Midwest. And then by 1996, we had six different regional cooperative associations across the country. These were groups of, of co-ops within you know, multi-states, uh, two to three, sometimes you know, more than that, that were working together trying to find commonalities of, of how they could leverage themselves against competition. Next slide, please. NCGA was officially formed in 1999, and then we incorporated in 2000. At that time, we had just a little bit over half the number of stores that we have currently today, about 270 million in total sales. And we, had a, we operated in a federated system, which meant that the regional associations were the actual members of NCGA. In 2004, we reor re reorganized that structure so now that every single individual co-op that's a member of NCGA is a direct member, no longer through a regional association. Next slide. So today, NCGA is a business services purchasing cooperative for 114 consumer-owned food co-ops. We operate over 140 locations uh, in 32 states. Our aggregate sales are now just over $1.3 billion. And we are the second largest segment next to Whole Foods in the natural foods industry in the United States. Next slide. So one of the reasons we're extremely uh, happy and thrilled that we made the move that we did in 2004 to then have a national purchasing agreement in 2006 with our main supplier is that none of us saw the recession coming. So this chart will show you what kind of happened to not only the big guys, but happened to us. Um, just to give perspective here, the blue bars are inflation. The dark blue bar at the top showing the same sort of curve as the, as the red line on the bottom. The dark blue line is us. That's, that's food co-ops. And the red line is Whole Foods Market. So you can see that the recession kind of hit the industry very similar to all of us. However, we took much less of a hit than our, than our largest competitor, our conventional competitor, and um, we attribute that to a lot of things, but most notably to the fact that we were organized together so that every cooperative in our system had access to much better pricing than they would have had going into that recession on their own. Next slide. So we operate in a, in a few different program areas. Um, first and foremost, we operate in our development side, which is all of our general managers and staff below them at the department level working together to um, peer support, to share best practices, to develop their skills, and really raise the bar of operational excellence within their cooperatives. At the national level, we do a great deal of advocacy and outreach. We are a proud founding member of the National Organic Coalition, which is becoming an increasingly strong voice in, in Washington for issues on organic standards, um, small farmer and local food systems. And then our purchasing and marketing departments are our two largest departments within NCGA, and they work closely together on a number of, of key programs for our members. Next slide. Our purchasing department uh, recently renewed our primary supply agreement with our, with our main supplier, United Natural Foods Incorporated, and that was really a timely event because so many things changed um, just after renewing that agreement with UNFI, including leadership changes, their segue into the Canadian market. So we are very happy to be, to be safe within our, our preferred pricing for all of our cooperatives for another five years. We're transitioning from a monthly to bi-weekly promotions program. And any of you that shop in a grocery store know that promotions can, can very much drive what happens you know, month to month, week to week in those stores. So um, we see this as a, as a big benefit coming up to really increase our marketability against other competitors that are doing more frequent promotion. We also have a non-cost of goods program with everything from deli containers, shopping bags, credit card processing, Everything from you know, linens to, to inventory services to janitorial services, there's a wider range of, of non-core services that we buy as a group. Next slide, please. 
And you can see that you know, our purchases are really increasing on the non-cost of goods side. And this is one you know, point I want to make with, with cooperatives organized like ourselves. There's certain things that every grocery store has to do, whether you're a cooperative or not. And it really doesn't mean anything to the consumer because everyone has to mop their floors and everyone has to have their linens cleaned and everyone has to uh, do certain things that don't make a meaningful impact. So we want to take away the burden of some of those issues for our stores so that they can focus on the things that really do make a difference in the consumer's mind of being a cooperative. Next slide, please. And so one of the main things that our marketing department has done over the last several years is to develop, in conjunction with our members, a, a brand new consumer brand that we've launched in 2010. It's called Co-op Stronger Together. And we also have a new consumer-focused website, which is strongertogether.coop, designed to really speak to consumers about the values and qualities of food cooperatives, what makes us different, give them a chance to share their experiences, talk about why they enjoy the cooperative experience more than they, than they do other retailers. We've redesigned all of our packaging and marketing materials with this new brand, um, working closely, of course, with purchasing because everything from our flyers and all of the things that those two business groups do together with an NCGA uh, uh, will have this new brand. Next slide. Was that the chime that I just heard, Joel? Yes, it was. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to finish quickly and ask you probably not to go through the, the picture slides that I had at the end, but um, in the last year, NC, or in, I'm sorry, in the last two and a half years, NCGA has formed a fully owned subsidiary uh, called our Development Cooperative. We work with our member stores in a lot of different areas to to share best practices to really increase the learning curve of projects. We're working on 12 new store projects. We'll be involved in seven new stores opening by the middle of 2011. We've successfully opened three in the past year. I don't have time to show you the pictures of those, but um, I appreciate the opportunity to tell you this bit of our story. Thank you. Well, great. Thank you so much, Robin. We can take a quick look at the, at the stores here as we scroll through. Again, that was Robin Schrader from the National Cooperative Grocers Association.